Hi, my name is Rob from Sony. Today we're talking about how to shoot hockey. Now the first thing that you want to know about hockey is it's, a, it's an indoor and a dark arena. So you're, it is a low light situation and you want to have a camera with a better sensor. The more expensive cameras, this is an A700. We also have the A900. They use a CMOS sensor. It's just better in low light. And the first thing you're going to do when you set up to shoot the hockey is you're going to set your ISO setting to 1600. A dark arena like this, you're going to need 1600 to get a good picture. Alright, so that's a CMOS sensor. You set your ISO to 1600. Now this lens is a faster lens. It has a wider aperture, 2.8. This is the 70 to 200 2.8 zoom lens. And you need that wide aperture to let as much light in as you can because again, it's a low light situation. I have my camera set to continuous for the focus on the lens. On this lens, I've got the autofocus turned on. I want the computer and the camera to follow the subject and to keep it in focus as it moves. I also have my motor drive set to high continuous so I can get those bursts of four or five frames per second. My white balance, I set that to auto white balance. I let the computer and the camera figure out the white balance. That'll work out fine. And my, my mode, I switch to M manual. On manual, I'll be setting the aperture, so that's the ring in the front is setting the lens to 2.8, and the ring in the back is setting the shutter speed. So I want to be around 2.8 at a 500th of a second in a dark arena. That will give me enough exposure to get a good picture. So as the play goes on, I've got my focus set to spot focus, and that's the little square in the center is activated, and I put that right on my subject. I keep my finger on the button half pressed so the camera is awake and, and the computer is working and following the subject, keeping it all sharp, and then I just take the picture. I can recompose and recrop it later on in the computer, but on spot focus, I keep that square right on my subject. That'll give me the best focus. Now I'm shooting through the glass. Whenever you shoot through the glass, there's a couple of little things to keep in mind. You want to wear a dark shirt. You don't want to be wearing a bright red shirt. It's going to reflect the color back into your photos through the glass. You want to clean the glass, maybe get to the arena a little bit early and make sure the glass is nice and clean inside and outside. And also, you don't want to use flash if you're shooting through the glass because the glass is going to work like a mirror and just bounce the flash right back at you. So with glass, sometimes it's dirty, you just have to live with it. Uh, alternatives would be to maybe shoot from the player's bench if they don't have any glass in front of them. Or in an NHL arena, they have holes cut in the glass where you can poke your lens through and not have any of the glass in the way. Now here's the other angle that I like to shoot with hockey. Through the glass, ice level would be my first choice. My second choice would be overhead. What's, you know, you're shooting over the glass. Now I'm using a 300 28. It's a little bit longer, has a bit more reach so I can get those action shots. Again, it's a 2.8 lens, so it is a wide lens, fast aperture, letting all that light in because hockey, as I mentioned earlier, is a low light situation. Even though the arena seems bright to a camera, it's low light. So this is a 300 28. I don't use it on a monopod for hockey, but you just follow it and do the best you can. This brings it in nice and close. For a pro game, I would shoot the warm-ups from the player's bench with the 300 28 and get those nice tight waist up shots. The other thing you can try is to try putting your flash on if the rink is just too dark. Now, I don't mean the, the pop-up flash that comes on the camera. This isn't going to be enough power to light up an arena. It's not going to reach the players. I, so what you need is an auxiliary flash. This is the the 58, turn that on, put it directly at them, and hopefully that'll work out for you. It could create some shadow problems. With some sports, they wouldn't like the interference from the flash going off. Gymnastics, you know, wouldn't be a great choice for that. But for hockey, it's generally fine, and it'll allow you to, in a really dark arena, that secondary flash will just be enough to light it up. So again, it's a low light situation. I use the high ISO, 1600, manual aperture, so I'm at f2.8, at around a 500th of a second, that'll be enough to stop the action. These fast lenses like the 302.8 or the 70 to 200 2.8, they're perfect for hockey, that's what they're made for. That would be your first choice to get a fast lens in these low light situations. Hockey, although it seems bright when you're looking at it, the rinks are low light and you want that better sensor in a CMOS camera. The A700 works really well. The A900, they both have that CMOS sensor, perfect in low light. And you have a lot of fun, you get some great shots of your children.